Now, after implementing of get entity sets, and we also seen how system trigger the respective method based on the URL which is coming. Now, next we'll see how to implement the create entity method. Create that is used to add the new record into a database. Come down here. So here till now we have done two implementations: get entity and get entity sets. So here, if you can see, we have the create entity. So all this like update entity, create, delete, and get entity. This work only with the single record. Means either we can fetch the single record, or we can create a single record, or we can update as well as delete but only with the single record for, for multiple record in a table format there's a concept called grid deep entity that we'll see later so first we'll redefine this method that is the create entity create entity redefine now in case of create entity so our data will come, this type of data will come from the URL. So first job in our method is to read this incoming record. So for that, in this method, here if you see, there is one importing interfaces there, that is io underscore data underscore provider. And in the exporting, we have er underscore entity, which we can send back to the URL as a response and this is TS that is the work area now so our incoming record will come here we can read the incoming record from this interface double click here so we can see this interface has one method that is read entry data so if you select if you see the parameter so here we have the ES underscore data of type any this means that when the data will become from the front-end system so we can use this method that is read underscore entry data of this particular interface so in the create entity method our first job is to read the incoming data I'm not going very deeply into the all validation and all parts so I'm showing the exact steps which we need to perform but in real time we might re they are required to add lot of validations whether the data which is coming is valid or not that all we need to do so here first job is read that is incoming data so before that so this is our er underscore entity okay so our data will be coming in this format that is ts underscore header so first we'll define one local structure of that type so here data let's say work area underscore entity of type that is er underscore entity now we have to use call the method of this particular interface so what we have to do Click on pattern. Here, select the attack object pattern. In the instance, enter that is IO underscore data provider. And here we have to call this interface. Let's say IW BAP with a star. Let's say entry provider. IWEB IF underscore MGW underscore entry underscore provider and inside this we have the method read underscore entry data from where I found this interface you can see here okay so I'm calling the method of this particular interface and this interface method will return us the entity data into the local structure which I have defined here 
to avoid any dump, we can open the try and catch block. So system will automatically do the exception handling if any errors are there. Er underscore entity or oh. instead of type here we have to use like. Save so check. Yeah, this time no error. Activate. So instead of type, we have to use like here. Okay. Now our data will come from the front end system, but as the VBEL is my primary key. This means that I have to generate, we can also have the external number range or internal number range. So consider here that I am having this VBEL as an internal number range or we can also pass from the front end system. Okay. So, okay, let's consider this will, the primary key will also come from the front end system. So what we have to do here, if work area underscore entity is not initial. I'm just checking whether entity is initial or not. If you want to compare any single value, we can also check the individual values and we can add the validations. Suppose we have the requirement like along with VBEL and we want some field mandatory. Okay, or data should be there. So that all we can validate here. Fine. So what I'm doing, I'm just reading this record. Now I will add one more structure as let's say GS underscore OVBAK, that is a type ZOVBAK because my table structure is of this work line. So if my work area entity is not initial, but let's say I'm directly comparing is VBELN is not initial. So what I will do here? I'll, I'm simply writing the modify Z O V B A K. Oh, before that, I have to move to my local structure. Move corresponding work area underscore entity to my local work area that is G S underscore O V B A K. And then I will modify the database table. Modify Z O V B A K from GS underscore O V B A K. I will explain what I have done in this method one more time. First, let me go to chain mode. So, what first step we have done here? We are trying to read the incoming entity. For that, we need some work area in which the entry data we can read. That's why first here I will declare one local work area of type this er underscore entity I read my record into work area underscore entity after that I have moved the corresponding record into gs underscore vpak and I have modified the table so let's, let's pass back data to the er underscore entity so what we'll do move corresponding let's say work area underscore entity to my response that is er underscore entity and in er underscore entity last field we have as a remark and I'm just adding here record created save check no error activate so once the data is received and we have modified our z table from the local work area i am moving back the data to the er underscore entity with the additional remark as record created you can see the last point here now again put a breakpoint here external breakpoint Go back, click on maintain, now here from the gateway client we need to pass the input data to the method. So how to do that? So the easiest way to pass the JSON back to the method 
is first select the entity set by using the get method pass select any record suppose I'm passing here with the 7 and I call the get method so we have received one record in the with the ID 7 okay now this will pass as an input to our method so for that to pass this record back to the method as a request first click here as use as request okay what I done first I call the get method by passing the key field and here I use use as request fine so now for the post method creating the record we have to select the radio button post and this is our VPLN so I'm changing this value here let's say 2021 let me check, check if any record is there with this no last which we I have is 2021092509 so here I'm passing the record as 200927 okay so let me make this 10 digit and I'm passing as the 35 okay so what I have done first I call the get method by passing a single key field then I use this response as a request and here I change the key field because I want to create my new record with this field we can also pass this blank and we can assign the value inside the method now if I pass this record as it is system will give the error okay just execute so you can see here 405 method not allowed because I cannot pass the key field in the URL so first I have to remove this still my input is the same and here observe one more point there is something called CSRF token so whenever we are creating any post record we need to pass this CSRF token as currently we are working into the SAP environment only so we don't have to fetch and pass here system is doing automatically but whenever we want to pass pose this method from the non SAP system there is a concept called CSRF token that I will extend while testing from the postman so just keep this in mind this concept for CSRF token so coming back to this post method so we have generated our record remove the key field from the URL select the post radio button again click on execute as I already set a breakpoint there so you can see our breakpoint is trigger that is create underscore entity double click here work area entity press F6 check the record so you can see the value which I passed from the URL is here okay now if you observe one thing here okay let's just finish this so if the VBL is not initial move correspond to GS underscore VBAK modify ZVOVBK from the structure F6 pass the entity I am adding the additional remark as record created and press F8. So here we can see the status ID this time is 201 and the status reason is created. The status codes are also very important. So here you can see in the request we have passed this record where the remarks was blank. But in the response along with the record which is created we can see the remark which I have added in the runtime. Now go to table record. Earlier there was 27 record. Just refresh it. So this time we can see the record is 28. This is a new record. I have to do some code correction because the remark which I have added, I think I have added after modifying the table. That's why here we cannot see the record created. So that modification I have to do in the code. But we are successfully able to create the new record from the current entity okay 
So I will expand the method one more time. Like first we have to call the get method by passing the key field. And after selecting the key field, after fetching the data for the key field, we have to use this response as a request. We have to do the record modification, remove this from the remove the key from here and use the post method. So in this way, we have seen how we can implement the create entity method in the gateway client. Now one more point here, as all the methods which I implemented, like get entity method, entity setting create method, I always use this concept. Like here, I am going increment 10. There is one more way. Suppose if you want to go to client, then simply here click as slash n slash iwfnd slash mint underscore service. If you execute this, there also we can come to the same screen, but this time we have to first filter, find our service here, that is ZK or data one, put a star. And after that, we have to go from here. Okay, this is the second method for the testing in the gateway client. So here we are done with the three method implementation, that is get entity, entity set and create. So next we'll see how to implement the update method, that is the post method, that will uh, put method, that we'll see in the next session.